in the end, everything will be carved in stone. Since working on this film, what are some cool things that you learned about Sue that you didn't know before? You know, I think what's interesting is, you know, Sue's been, she's been a close friend of mine for a while. But when you, when you sort of document somebody in this way, you do learn things. And I think what I appreciate is sort of the, the weight she carries for her team emotionally and mentally. I knew that to a certain degree, but I didn't fully appreciate it. Like, you know, in the film, you'll see Gino Oriyama talk about the responsibility of the point guard, and Sue really carried that throughout her entire life, where you know, she's not just thinking about like, oh, I gotta get my 15 points, 10 assists tonight. No, she's thinking, I need to make sure Jewel Lloyd, Alicia Clark, Brianna Stewart, uh, Natasha Howard are all in exactly the spots they need to be. And they need, and, and then to watch her live that, like I always say this, and I cover a lot of sports. I, you know, I cover the NBA, I cover the Yankees, I cover WNBA Women's College. I have never seen an athlete be a coach on the floor or in the locker room or on the bench more than Sue Bird. She truly is a coach. And she carries that weight with her always because she cares so desperately about winning and making her teammates as comfortable as possible. I love how you light up when you talk about her. Yeah. Um, I know we're here talking about like her as an athlete, but what do you want people to know about her as just a human being? She's the coolest human being on the planet. Like actually the coolest human being on the planet. It's funny because when I'll introduce my friends to her and we'll like go to dinner or something, they all usually say one of two things like, I'm in love with Sue Bird or, oh my gosh, that's the coolest human being I've ever met. And, and usually it's both those things. And she just is, she's like, she's just got this great, chill, thoughtful way about her. She's constantly engaging with you. And this is just like a little specific thing, but when you're out with Sue, Sue's never on her phone. She's there with you, she's present with you. And it's just, she's just like gives you that kind of energy. And she has that, she's hilarious and she's so thoughtful and I think Whenever you listen to her talk, it's just kind of like, oh yeah. And she just knows how to deliver a message. Um, and when you get to be around her as much as I do, you get that whole experience and it's awesome. Well, my last question for you is, what do you want people to get from this film? I think I just want them to, to appreciate how incredible Sue is, her magic as a leader, as a basketball player, as an activist, um, as a teammate, and understand the part of her journey that coincides with the growth of women's basketball and what's possible for the storytelling of female athletes, female basketball players moving forward. Um, and I think Sue's been on this path to help knock down you know, those barriers and hopefully people walk away thinking that was amazing. And you know what? I want to learn more about some of the other stars I've seen play on TV that maybe haven't had that platform to have their full stories told. Thank you so much for stopping yeah. by. Yeah. You got it. Thank you. In the end, everything will be carved in stone.